This channel is for immature audiences only. It is not for children, only for childish adults. We might play some video games that kids also like, but we say words like fuck and shit with alarming frequency and make crude, inappropriate, and morbid jokes all the damn time. Level 0 NPCs assumes no responsibility if your idiot spawn watches this and gets traumatized. We ready to roll? Rolling. We've done our sinks. I'm, I'm, I'm Gregording. Not only are we ready to roll, we're currently rolling. We, we are, I'm we afraid are to say. indeed rolling. It's yeah, it's too late, it's too late. By the moon and the stars in the sky. Lots of new voices coming up here, Matt, by the way. Mm. Like, this, you see this, we have Zingy, and we have three other dudes, and we have a lady, so. A lady! A lady. lady. A French lady. <laughs> I didn't practice at all, so I don't know what's going to happen. Listen, I don't know what's going to happen. We're just going to have to roll with it, and I'm going to have to remember things, and I have ADHD. <laughs> Do your most <laughs> this will offensive be Quebecois French. Bonjour! Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> yes, because all Quebecois are also the penguin from old fashioned Batman. I mean, I'm just drinking right. tea right now. <laughs> yeah. So, um, quick note uh, it shouldn't affect anything, I don't think, but uh, we there was something wrong with our last save game. It was just crashing with an oops era error, so I had to load the last save and get back here. So that, so that means we have not yet spoken to Ziggy. So we might do some uh, redo of the discussion or the, the chat we'd have with Ziggy previously just to catch up in case, you know, it affects our suits. So if you, if, the, if you want, now's the time to go and unsubscribe and delete the channel yeah. from uh, exactly. your list. This delete will be the, the channel from YouTube. <laughs> yeah. You have the power to delete our channel. If Actually, all... yeah, I think everybody kind of does with, with like, you know, copyright strikes. Oh, man. Although, you know. Yeah. Just, just don't. report video and click all of the boxes. <laughs> <laughs> Find a similar YouTube channel. Say we stole their footage. Yes. It would be very easy to do. Yeah. Because just take our videos. Google account them. banned. <laughs> that happened to us a long time ago. What? Um, we weren't, uh, we weren't uh, able to record episodes for a bit. Um... Because I was, this is before YouTube lives were a thing like that. You could do like private and stuff like that. But I was using uh, just YouTube live streaming or sort of one of their side uh, services. Actually, I think it was Google like live streaming or something like that. Um, to as, as sort of almost a nanny cam to watch my cat and stuff like that while I was away at work. Um, and uh, I didn't really bother to fill, up in, fill in information. And then like basically they flagged my YouTube account. And locked it for God, I think it was like four months. Um, and I finally got it. I like I appealed to get it reopened, and this was fortunately back when they still had the like trusted flagger system in YouTube. Uh, and the guy basically told me like, yeah, you had a bunch of basically like um, empty videos that apparently were the exact same thing every time. <laughs> Um, so it's like, oh yeah, well, not really, but I understand why that happened, but that sucks. So, anyway. hello everybody, welcome back to Dagger of Amon Ra. Nice slow um, start, I'm loving it. I took, yeah, I gave us the the sort of three minute starting period. Um, we're gonna get into the game, uh, starting with talking of the uh, Ziggy here again. Oh, good Ziggy. Z Zippy, Zippy, as Blue Zippy. calls him. <laughs> Heard any good rumors lately? <laughs> well, I don't have any money right now. Then I ain't got no rumors for you, totes. <laughs> <laughs> right, I seem to remember he didn't really know much about anything. No, he was a. Um, he was, he was like, pretty useless. You Dr. Carter, who is literally standing right next to him, and I don't think he even has anything to say, so. I can't help you with the totes. 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 Oh, did we ask him about Yvette, though? Because I think. If he's, maybe he denies I, knowing her, though. I think I compared him to Uwatu the Watcher last time. But uh, <laughs> he's a much creepier take on being watched. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't want that nice. guy watching me. Working girl, I knew a win. 
Marshes is a big agile museum. What do you call it? Like, she was a street walker. He catch my drift. <laughs> it was a quick slide into indecipherability. Ponies. Yeah, yeah. Pony. He uh, he's melting a little bit and getting a little bit of, of uh, sad Luigi on. I'm all. So. Ah, ah, ah. I think we also got something out of him Ooh. when we talked to the crab's water closet here. Callum. I'm excited. Wolf Heimlich is a good opportunity for a um, Werner Herzog. <laughs> With the anything I know about Dame like her. She shouldn't have been doing me. I mean, I don't know. That, that's odd. She seems to know you. Uh, she did? What would she say? I ain't true. Listen now, Calcum. Secret of my dependent. I ain't taking a rap for her anyway, toots. <laughs> Leave me alone before I call the cops, toots. Zippy, are you alright? No! You're so funny. You're slurring a little bit, and you're twitching quite a bit. He's, he's sounding and like gurgling. Uh, one of the kids from a Fensler film. <laughs> like as a as a chronic insomniac, my like perception of the boundary between the sleeping and waking world is not rock solid. And sometimes when I'm really tired, it's hard to hang out with Matt. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes when I'm wide awake, it's hard to hang out with <laughs> if I'm being entirely... Just... You guys are weak. It's, you guys are weak-minded. It's... <laughs> it's just, just that, this particular Ziggy voice, I'm just like, am I still awake? Did I fall asleep while recording? <laughs> this is just happening. You know, it's just a thing. It's, it's just happening. It's that's, just that's happening. much the Matt Goodmanson story. You know? What's up with this Ziggy Joker? Hey, what you most you talking to him? Oh. 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 <laughs> Do you need medical assistance, sir? Um, Do you need an ambulance? I can't see. I can't see nothing. <laughs> Tell me about Egyptology. Can you usually not see anything? We talked about that before, remember? I told you crazy dish and riddle rat dams has got to pass along. Wait, did we get an Egyptian riddle? Whoa. Whoa. I think I what don't it remember is that. that I had a couple meetings at work where the like debate got a little bit heated, but I was not part of the debate, but I was part of the meeting. So I just was like muted and gripping the arms of my chair and just waiting for it all to be <laughs> over. And it's just, I think all those same muscles are still flexing right now listening to Ziggy. <laughs> Listen, yeah, I'm just trying to give you a real Ziggy experience. I know the dagger was heist, but I don't know now who done it. If you know, why won't you go to the police? I ain't got a suspicion. I got nothing. Besides, what the cops done for oh, me? Dear. Like, oh, oh. This is in the interest of justice. Who are you trying to protect? Ah, I'm trying to protect me. Now, fit. Oh, God, it's like being electrocuted. <laughs> <laughs> is this like that crawl spider web? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it's a great analogy. It does feel a little like that. That said, I concur. That is definitely what this guy sounds like, based on his face. How was your year, Mr. Ziggy? Simple Weebsy, Mr. Simple Weebsy, Mr. Sawbuck on the Tony Dempsey match. Now here I am, Rebel Melba, Goose for the whole toy. Take six and toots, toots. This guy's got to go. This guy's got to go. We already did this, too. That's the worst part. Well, we didn't do all of this, fortunately. Oh, fortunately. Yeah. Jeez, mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't want to meet lady. I touch the drop of that stuff and get all. <laughs> Yo. Oh, really? Yo. Water? Yo. I believe you, sir. Yo. You haven't touched a drop of water? I don't know you. You do dry cleaning, I guess, so maybe you don't touch mm -hmm. water. Do you? I do. You seen it? I saw you there before. It is what it is. It is what it is. What it is. I'm a philosopher. I'm not sure it is what it is really qualifies as modern philosophy, although it is. 
kind of my modern philosophy. Uh, shit. Toots. Toots. <laughs> Tell us about the museum. Mmm. I'm sure you have a lot of good things to say. I know everything's not what it used to be, but then what? Yeah. Some with this dance, my commands, the crazy pigs, this is just gonna be the same. Me, I do. I look like a brother of a famous Broadway producer. No, I am. I, I thought you said it is what it is. <laughs> and now you're telling me that it's not what, what, it, what it seems to be? I don't know who you are, <laughs> King Toots. <laughs> Maybe you should have a, a little drink of water, <laughs> Ziggy. I don't think I'm going to make it through the night. You know how when you're first learning to draw a face, <laughs> right, and you learn about the proportions of it? You yeah. end up, when you're first going through those steps, <sighs> with faces that look kind of like Ziggy's face. Yeah. Where the head is just a little too bulbous, you know? But don't give up. <laughs> you can pass that stage and and get better with, with practice. Yeah. I, I hope has, so. It's just where he's like in full portrait mode mm -hmm. with like, I don't know. I'm troubled by his, by his portrait. He looks very inflated. He looks like he's, his head will float away from his neck at any moment. I mean, look. Yeah, he's a little hydrocephalic. Here, maybe him or maybe not. What's it with to you? Well, See, I could, do, I I could give him that. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Well, we've, I've had enough. Indeed. But if I, but oh, like no, if follow, I gave him that. Follow your heart, man. It just yeah. makes it. It just makes it worse. Is I'm just trying to make it worse. Okay. Oh, thank you. We appreciate that. <laughs> uh, okay, Doctor Pepper Carter, a snappy dressed man, mystery accountant, accountant, mm -hmm. and a short blustery man that looks like that reminds Ro you of President Roosevelt. Roosevelt, Roosevelt. He's svelte. He's svelte. Yeah. And of course. Mm -hmm. uh, the Ooh la la! With fashionable cheekbones. Mm -hmm. Oh, to have fashionable Dr. cheekbones. Carter. Are you going to voice him like Pippin from Lord of the Rings? <laughs> Probably not. This is quite a party. Does the museum always have a big fundraiser when they open a new exhibit, Doctor Carter? No, but they've never had such an important exhibit opening here before. And I have an important curator with an important mm -hmm. salary, so the museum wouldn't have been able to keep me employed here without financial assistance. Yes. You must be a very important for the museum to go to so much trouble. Oh, naturally. The museum is lucky that I accept this position as the head of the new Egyptian Antiquities Department. <laughs> Why, my name alone will attract more visitors and more money to the museum. Museum. <laughs> Any chance that the Tutankhamun exhibit will make a stop here on its American tour? Mm, no, I'd hate to embarrass my relatives by putting his Tutankhamun artifacts on display here. They pale by comparison to my own great discoveries, such as the Tiger of the Munra. It's beautiful. Of course. How silly of me to think otherwise. Yes. Yes, that was rather <laughs> silly of you now that I think about it. And you, yes. He's kind great. of the worst, isn't he? Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, he's an actual... Oh, uh, yeah, he should have something to say. Yeah, he's an actual, uh, uh, like, expert on the matter, so... I, think I cannot wait. Egyptology. Yeah. Since you're an expert on the subject, what can you tell me about Egyptology? Hmm... I don't have time to explain the intricacies of my profession to a near fight. If you're truly interested, I'd suggest several years of difficult study mm. on the subject at one of your better universities. Once you finish that, you can come talk to me again. That's like sure. quintessential gatekeeping. One moment, yeah. please. What a dick. I'll be right back. Give me four years. Keep the party going. <laughs> <laughs> Ask him about Fresca. Hmm. <laughs> You must be very upset about the burglary. Quite so. If I ever find out who stole my dagger of a monro, who won't live to regret it, I can assure you. Oh, oh my. Do you have any idea who would do such a thing? 
<laughs> I have my suspicions, but I need more proof before I subject him to the fuel force of my wrath. Fuel. Have the police learned anything? The police. There is incompetence? Hardly. I couldn't even find any clues around the dagger display. Sounds like the burglar might have been a professional. Perhaps. It's more likely the local constable couldn't find a clue if it jumped up and bit him on the bum. Oh, dear. <laughs> I said bium. Mm. <laughs> that guy's and, a better illustration than Ziggy. Yeah, the he's best great. Person, <laughs> yeah. He's got some artful deviation from standard human proportions. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's follow the thread. Why not? Oh, yes, I can't say I'm too impressed with Detective O'Reilly. Couldn't find a single bloody clue about the dagger burglar. And he has this nasty habit of chewing on grapes constantly, probably to cover up the smell of the alcohol Ooh. he drinks, what oh not on the situations. And you understand what I'm saying? Read between the lines. Were there lines? I carry a lot of grapes to be I was on just going to say that. How do you constantly <laughs> chew on grapes? You don't swallow? <laughs> yeah, they don't take a lot of chewing. They're liquid pretty quick as soon as you start yeah. chewing. They pretty much pop. And then, like, I guess if you're just, like, grinding down the fibers of the, like, grape skin or something like that. but And you've just got, you've just got your mouth, like, half filled with grape mm. juice. So it's running down your chin. <laughs> and you're just grinding the skin between your teeth. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to hide the smell of alcohol, for sure. <laughs> yeah, that, that won't look strange at all. Yeah. <laughs> Also, you gotta have like an enormous fucking bag of grapes in order to do that. I think he's grapes got a tube full of. Not them. a space efficient snack. No, well, unless, unless you have a tube. A tube. A tube. A tube of grapes. A cane. A, a grape tube. I think you. I think a, we all know cane. what a grape tube is. Oh, in Halifax, yeah. they must have those grape. Yeah, grape a canes. grape cane. Yeah, everybody's got a grape, grape cane. cane. <laughs> everybody's so got a grape. Basically, screw off the top and roll a grape out <laughs> in your mouth. You got You've it. Got it's a like cane. a. You've mm -hmm. Got a cane, and you just stick one end of it in your mouth like a snorkel. Yeah, like a, like a fucking, of... yeah, like a Pez dispenser, except for grapes, and it's a cane. You can use it as a cane. It's a thing. No, we have we're here. all on board, Matt. We're all on board. You're being yeah. very <laughs> defensive right now, but we're all with you. Yeah. I mean, I just Some can't believe nobody's mentioned. Canes. Some I'm, I'm, people have grape canes. I'm just, I'm just upset nobody mentioned it before me. <laughs> I'm sorry. No one's I'll on the other side of this time. issue. That's a great way to conceal grapes about your person. Using a hollow cane with some sort of spring-loaded spring dispenser system. It's like, where do you think Pez got the idea? Real mm. talk, I kind of think it would be awesome to have a cane that is also like a Pez dispenser, though. You just kind of like grip the, the, the shaft of the cane and you just like cock back the head of, of like the little the grip and like you know candy or something like the that. diamond so, eyed the snake head like so much pez out. in yeah, there yeah oh yeah so many pez oh yeah diamond eyed snake head and just like you know pez just comes out of the mouth oh yeah it would be cool if you right. could have it so like out of the the top of the cane it will dispense like individual like you know items for you to have but if you could forcefully eject things out of the bottom of the cane by wielding it like a gun <laughs> so you could you could just hold up the cane and just like Fire a gumball across the room at somebody. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm asking Google how many grapes can fit into a cane. Mm -hmm. Turns I out mean, that's I'm, it's real. Nobody knows. You might I need Wolfram like, Alpha for that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're it's right. More, tor more technical, more numbery. So, the Wolfman, Wolfman Alpha. The right. Wolfman Alpha. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but like now you got me thinking about like you know other things like you could put like fruit by the foot or like bubble tape or something like that in your cane and just like you know dispense as needed It'd be great oh yeah I'm assuming Matt is at Wolfram Alpha checking on grape cane dimensions yes I am in capacity here yeah. how long is a cane typically four feet mm-hmm I think they're. Uh, I think you size them for the person you're supposed mm -hmm. to. Anyway. Yeah, they'd have to be, I guess. You know, depending on your height. So, let's say an average, probably of four feet. Oh, and I... then probably you you'd have to stack them. I don't can't. I can't imagine you'd have more than one grape in the in the hollow of the shaft there. 
Yeah, so yeah. If you laid four feet of grapes end to end, how many grapes is that, I guess, on average? What's the average size of a grape? Or what's the average length of a grape? Yeah, yeah it's you really... might have to specify the uh, the grape in question, too. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. really, really... Um, it's really getting hung up. Um, yeah. Wine on, grapes are pretty small. On some on some technicalities here. Yeah, grapes, 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 and people can get pretty big. Um, my uh, yeah. dad briefly needed a cane because he had a problem with his knees, and uh, he ended up just making his own cane because he is he was simply too big. He's such a big person <laughs> that like they tried to size him for a cane and like. They had, like, one of the canes that you could adjust, and they had to, like, extend it all of the way. And then it was, like, structurally useless because it was, like, on its last notch. Um, mm. Yeah, he just he just made he just went home and made his own in the garage. It was, it was kind of awesome. You'd think that they would just make canes like a, like a broom handle or something like that, and then just chop off the bit they don't need. You know? Sand uh. it down, put a cap on it. Well, how Look, many grapes I could fit in your dad's cane? Yeah, yeah, more I would imagine. More than oh, his his his, his oh, cane was pretty heavy duty. Like you could you could fit. I, you I could wonder if probably you probably have fit like two rows of grapes in there. I wonder <laughs> like the the those like like the Korean or Japanese grapes that are like the size of a man's toe. You could put those <laughs> in there too. I bet those things yeah, are freaking crazy. Anyway, I definitely am most cane. enthralled by the like. Having a heavy spring-loaded mechanism so you can fire the grapes out like those little Nerf balls. Oh yeah, like it's a not it's 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 a deal breaker if you don't have one of those. Or or just like just modifying a Nerf gun to fire grapes, like like those little rubbery. There was a there was a great arms race at the Beam Dog Studio of Nerf guns. Um, That's true. Yeah. Of people getting bigger and bigger Nerf guns. There was one. Um, uh, one day I was I was working a little bit late and. Uh, a, a sort of fight broke out and one of the programmers took a huge like belt fed nerf device out from under his desk and just lit up the room with it and I was in a different room down the hall and I still got hit the, <laughs> the, the nerf balls bounced around the room and out of the room and into my room and hit me that's how like much collateral damage there was and if instead of the little harmless nerf balls it was like wet cold grapes like what <laughs> What a terrible thing to get hit by as a projectile. Yeah, yeah you'd actually I feel need... like you could feed grapes into a paintball gun. You could, but I think yeah. they would smash. I think you, you you really would need some sturdy grapes and some good engineering, which is what they do for real life grape canes, which are actually a thing and totally exist. And, yeah, your and, classic and Victorian grape cane. Yeah, yeah. For, for discreetly eating grapes in public. And now you can, and now you can get the ones with the double walls to keep them cold. We've 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 all read books before. <laughs> we've all read books. <laughs> anyway, yeah, there there it is, Grape King. We, we all had the, the you know the assigned reading <laughs> in high school. You know, getting through Wuthering Heights, and it's talking about Heathcliff. You know, they knew he was a gentleman because of his fashionable grape cane. <laughs> <laughs> And he would just... I think we need to get back to the <laughs> back to the game. I yeah. thought this was yeah, you guys ever wonder if you guys ever wonder if this show is good? <laughs> no, no, I never, never do. <laughs> Not once. <laughs> not once. On occasion, but usually I come up with no, not really. I mean, I mean, it's good enough, but it's definitely not good. Who said it had to be? Know? Listen, no. yeah, we, we do it for our, uh, for our own amusement and, and those who yeah. find the same stuff amusing. Yeah. It's why we have, exactly. you know, dozens of views. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's fine. That's what, yeah. that's where I, our I would tens classify of views it as not from. bad, but also not good or certainly not great. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna stop looking up grape canes. All right, what's yeah, next? Let's uh, let's talk talk to Doctor Pippin Carter here a little bit more. Yeah, more. Right. Of this I love how long we. Yeah. Love how long we hovered with the cursor in the exact same place. <laughs> <laughs> while talking about grapes and concealing them in a cane. That's me, oh, silly girl. If you want to arrange an in-depth interview, mm. I'll have to schedule one. Schedule one later in the week. Sorry, I almost said it correctly. 
very few contexts in which you should call someone a silly girl. <laughs> no, it's it's not cool <laughs> for the most part. Dr. Carrington is a fine chap. He used to be in charge of the British Museum, you know. I ran into him several years ago when I visited the British Museum to consult with Dr. Budge. Seems odd that Dr. Carrington doesn't remember me, but I almost certainly didn't recognize him either. He was getting old after all. Looks different. Memory is probably <laughs> short as well. If I... hmm. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. 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 Do you think Dr. Pippin Carter's ever been slapped? <laughs> I believe he was the Emperor of Rome just after Julian. Julian. Slap should be in your your verb list. Here. I mean, he went to... It looks like a slap. Dude, dude but went, I bet it's not. Dude went to a... Being a female, I'm sure you have a strong urge to touch me, but try and show some restraint. Oh, I love wow. being called a female. That's the best. Um, Only the I, finest men call women females. That, <laughs> right? Oh. That dude definitely went to a boarding school, and that dude definitely got slapped too much. And I think that's why he is the way he is. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask, ask if it was too much or not enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. A crowd follows some sort of miniature vegetable, isn't it? Potato, perhaps. Is it? Maybe. His last name is Rhubarb. We know that's a plant. <laughs> Low fat. Yes, everyone knows him. He's the local celebrity. Yeah. He runs one of the local Chinese laundries. Pretends to be Chinese so he can get more business, but he has a terrible accent. <laughs> he sounds like Jason Statham. You know what I mean? <laughs> gotta ask about dad all the time. You gotta ask about dad. A relative of yours, perhaps? Correct. <laughs> Although I'm still interested in the fact that he was listed as John Bo dad when this was Crodfather's notebook. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Crodfather's your half-brother. <laughs> Dr. Miklos is rather eccentric, but she is well-educated. Receiving her training at one of the better universities in Athens, Greece. You know, she's considered quite knowledgeable in the area of hieroglyphics, but her specialty is paleontology. She's fond of old bones, don't you know? Sunny bones! <laughs> she's fond of sunny bones! Are we all? Who isn't? Mm-hmm. That trollop <gasps> sleeps with everything that moves. And some things that don't. It's only by sheer Excuse strength me? of will that I've resisted her until so far. I I think this man might not respect women. <laughs> you think? <laughs> <laughs> what gave it away? It feels like a safe assumption to make. But he's so likable otherwise. It's just otherwise, a yeah. Also, did he just accuse her of necrophilia? <laughs> Possibly. Possibly? Possibly. Ah, yes, Heimlich's the security chief here. Yeah? Not a particularly good one, obviously, since the dagger was stolen right from under his nose. And he's rather too intense <laughs> for my taste. I'm gonna make him... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and change his voice from now on. <laughs> For Wolf, yeah. I cannot wait. Nice. Do you know a random dock worker that I met? <laughs> on the Everybody dock? knows Steve Dorian, the Stevedore with a ridiculous name. Oh, you do know he, him. He's the fellow that helped unload my artifacts from the steamship. Why, if it weren't for his odd name, I would have forgotten him entirely. I still might. It's is Steve Dorian an unusual name? Well, he or is a Stevador. Oh, I guess. Oh, I see. <laughs> I finally got it. No, that took me a second, too. I only got it just now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I learned I mean, the word Stevador know. from this game. I, I did not know that was a thing. 
It, it's I've heard the before, it, but I didn't have a solid grasp of its meaning. Yeah, it definitely was not at the top of my like list of fully understood words. I'm gonna look up the exact definition right now. Rather an unfortunate name, I think. This is Ziggy. Like a, like a dock worker or a hauler, basically, right? Someone who loads and unloads cargo. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> a cargo guy. They put the go in cargo. <laughs> the Candace was married to the former president of the Land Acre Museum, Sterling Waldorf Carlton, a good chap but uninspired. Now she has a sight set on Dr. Mm. Carrington. Wow. Well, that's about all the people. Time to ask about places he may or may not even think about. Like the Tribune. Tell me about my newspaper. It's one of those local <gasps> scandal periodicals. The term yellow journalism comes to mind when I think of it. Which means it's not much of a newspaper at all, really. It's more like a printed chewing gum for the uneducated masses. Oh my goodness. <laughs> now wait a minute. The Tribune is a fine newspaper of the highest quality. I know because I happen to work there. Mm, you've <gasps> oh, just dang. proven my point. Them's fine words. <laughs> <laughs> well, I never. It's uh, when you're dealing with someone this sort of. Full Maybe of that's your problem. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I won't have. I don't have to stand here and take this abuse. You're right. You don't. You could just go away and make us both happy. Sounds or like a real prick. It's it's fun to imagine when dealing with someone that sure of themselves. To imagine them dying and being simply astonished to wake up in hell. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's such a funny thing to imagine to me. Do you think he's so full of himself he might be able to convince himself that it's in fact heaven? Like, I guess this is what heaven is like. They, they, everyone was I, wrong. You'd have to wonder. Because, like, there's a certain point where, like, self-assuredness is a lack of self-awareness. Not that, not that it always is, right? Like, a, one should be sure of oneself, right? Like, self-doubt is not, you know, uh, a good thing necessarily. But to be that sure of yourself all of the time, to a certain extent, there's an element of self-deception. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. See that? The police station is the last refuge for the incompetence in this city. However, if you're looking for a constable, I'd suggest one of the donut shops. I, I kind of agree with that one. <laughs> Just a little bit. I'm with you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All that, we agree. <laughs> yeah, on everything else, you can go fuck yourself. But yeah, <laughs> fuck People tell me Lofaz is a good place to have laundry done, but he always puts too much starch in my shirts. This music is great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's when I arrived on the steamship Andrea Doria. I came over from the artifacts for the Egyptian mu exhibit. Apparently, Dr. Carrington was also on the voyage from England, but I never ran into him aboard the ship. Keeps to himself a lot, you know. I, well, I don't. I've never well, met him. I'm, no, well, I'm I guess I know now. Yeah. Tell I you. suppose I do. Now yeah, you do, yes. I've learned so much from you. Most people do. Little work, I, with a little work, I can turn the land deck into a world-class museum. But that can wait a few months until they decide to make me the president. Wow. Dr. Carrington will have to find other employment, of course. But I'm sure some lesser museum would be happy to have him on yes, their sir. staff. Wow. You just want to poke him in both eyes. <laughs> <laughs> I am a real piece of work. You know, that's what they and say. A bag of shirts. Since <laughs> you're new here, what do you think of New York? Isn't it exciting? I <gasps> hate it. It's crowded, it's noisy, and you Americans have no concept of how the class system is supposed to work. You go around treating us <laughs> like equals, which I find very distasteful. Wow. 
Wow. Yeah, you know you're bad when you think the states are too equal, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's kind of the political climate in the you states right now. You already so. asked me that, you silly female. Whoa, this guy. I can't re-ask things? Yeah, you just asked again, New York, about, yeah. You silly female. <laughs> he's missing. He's mixing and matching his sexisms now. If you're referring to the local drinking establishments, they are quite illegal, and I don't condone their existence. I do drink on occasion, but only when the finest wines are available. Right. I will not mourn this man's death mm -hmm. when he is murdered. I am not going to die. <laughs> Water I glass? think his highest emotion is grim satisfaction. It's a water glass. Just the thing if you require a drinking receptacle that holds liquids. Thank you for I, not wasting my time with that. I gotta give massive props to whoever wrote mm -hmm. all of the responses to everything yeah. in the notebook, though, for, for all these characters, because that's gotta be a lot of work. And, like, I mean, I'm being thorough here because it's interesting and also funny, but, like, you gotta imagine a lot of people are kind of straight-lining it, trying to get only the most important information, you know? Like, does he have something specific mm -hmm. to say about the magnifying glass? I don't think he's had a generic response to anything yet. Like, this is so very different of an experience mm -hmm. talking to characters in this game than the previous game. Oh, yeah. It's like night oh, yeah, day. It's, it's vivid, detailed. Yeah. Don't bother me with such silly questions. Okay, like, first That's... one, though. It's the first one. Mm-hmm. My father told me there's no such thing as a silly question. Your father's I'm an assuming idiot. The notebook is get that <laughs> no, no thanks. No. I already have a notepad. Can we trade? This used to be craft fathers. We could I do a little don't, I'm not. sisterhood of the traveling pants kind of thing. It smells bad. <laughs> <laughs> just, just terrible. What would you say? This has been a good year for you, sir. Well, let's see. I made the most important archaeological discoverer of all time. Almost everyone on the planet knows my name, and I have clinched a curatorial job that I've been after for years. So, yes. Yes, I'd say it's been rather a good year. Oh, you've been after this job for years? Hmm, <laughs> seems to me like you might have a problem. A problem? Such as? Well, if you've accomplished so much this year, what are you going to do next? Next? What next? Don't bother me with such ludicrous questions, you silly female. Oh, he just doesn't <laughs> believe in the future. No. no. <laughs> next. He said that's why he became an archaeologist. <laughs> I only believe in the past. Mm -hmm. Everything only is Only the past can mm -hmm. be observed. All, like, all speculation about the future is just that. Mm -hmm. Anything could happen in the next second. Anything. It's true. <laughs> well, I, yeah. I gotta respect that point of view a little bit, though. Like, you know, the man, I mean, like, for, for all of his, like, bluster, he has accomplished a lot this year. And if, you know, you've, if you've done a lot of shit and somebody's like, oh, you know, main question is, well, what's next? I'd be like, fuck you. <laughs> I'm happy with what I've managed to accomplish. Give me like five minutes to be happy for myself before I have to come up with something else. You know? Yeah, like the sentiments in and of themselves wouldn't be so bad, except for his weird need for his accomplishments to be the most yeah. important. Like, his statement Absolutely. that he wouldn't want to embarrass, uh, like, like, that, uh, that someone's, like, Tutankhamun discoveries, mm -hmm. that they would be embarrassed to have their discoveries put alongside his, because they were so much <laughs> lesser. Yeah. All right. Well, we have exhausted our notebook with, uh, uh, Pippin Carter here, so. He is exhausting. Um, Let's Please tell Julia me he's talk to herself victims. for a long time. <laughs> Let's make Julia talk to herself for a long time. Oh no. Bonjour, Miss Bo. Dr. Carrington told me you were covering this party for the newspaper. I am Yvette Delacroix. Terrible. That's right, Miss Delacroix. I'm writing the social news column. 
Ah, the social news. I was thinking you were here about the burglary. The burglary? Ah, ha, of course not. The newspaper would never assign a female cub reporter like myself to such an important story. Ah, you are probably being correct, Miss Bo. Oh, no. They have devoted <laughs> very few pixels to her nose. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice her nose. That's how few pixels it was. I will count them next time. Time to do mm. the list. Monsieur Augustini, you know him. I understand he is a very powerful man at a newspaper. I would like to meet him sometime. Oh, yeah, there's like five. The suggestion of a nose. Yeah. She has like anime proportions on a realistic face. <laughs> That, that was pretty in uh, 1926. That was the hot thing. I guess so. Anime. Fashionable cheekbones and what have you. Yeah. Ah, uh, Monsieur Pepin, he is such a great man and quite attractive, no? No. No? <laughs> no. <laughs> dee 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 dee. <laughs> Dr. Carrington, he is my superior. So I'd rather not be saying the bad things about him. Whoa. What bad things? He is very strange even for a man. Ah, but you are trying to trick me, no. It's best I am not talking about him. I apologize to all the French and Southern people. Oh, you're not even <laughs> you're not even going halfway to <laughs> Like, we, we, I, I need to, to get to the point where Julia is doing <laughs> what Matt was doing with his fucking uh, uh, Italian impressions. <laughs> it's not to me. Uh, I'm not going to make it. I'm not going to go make full it. Monty Python with it. Ah, uh, Monsieur O'Reilly, he is magnifique. He is so intelligent, so confident, so ooh la la. I assume you've met him before tonight? Oh, yes, we are, how do you say, the old friends. And it never hurts to have the high-placed friend on the local police force, no. I suppose that's true. What do you think about his burglary investigation? People here, they keep saying, Monsieur O'Reilly, his investigation of the dagger is not good. But he tries very hard. I've seen him work. But the dagger thief, he is very good, no. He... You think the burglar was a man? It is only the manner of speaking, Miss Bo. This burglar, she could have been female as well. Valid point. Mm hmm. Valid point. Salad point. Not. A salad point? Salad point. Salad, salad point. point. Mm hmm. Ah, uh, the crowd follower. I met him uh, once on the train. The train was the sleeper car. It was dark, and I climbed into his berth by mistake. But he will always remember that meeting, I am sure. I, unfortunately, will have forgotten in a few months. So you have memory <laughs> have problems? A medical like? condition? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, she just I legitimately lives, like, uh, lives in the moment like um, Pippin, yeah. There's no future. Like the guy Memento. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what she means by that. I actually don't know. W whatever she happens. She wakes up every morning yeah. and just looks at a Look. Polaroid that said, do not trust his lies. Yeah, she has tattoos Let's... all over her. Uh, I'm the vet. Yeah. Listen, what she's saying is that Crodfaller sucks in bed. <laughs> yes. That's... Yes. And... We all know that. Because look yeah. at him. Oh. <laughs> Doopy doopy doo. <laughs> oh no. Now I'm imagining. Doopy doopy. <laughs> <laughs> this goes right here. The low fat, I know him. The little laundry I take to the cleaner, the low fat does it himself. I have the deal he enjoys, so it costs me nothing. <laughs> Jesus. The deal he enjoys. <laughs> oh, I know your father well. <laughs> My dad? I do not believe I have met your father, Miss Bow, unless it was long ago, and I may have forgotten. I have met so many men, it is hard to keep track of them all. Mom? Are you my mom? 
<laughs> Crowd follows your brother? Oh wait! Oh no! We're all this. This everyone in this game is related. It's like fucking Final Fantasy VIII. Doctor Miklos and I, we have much of the fun together. She is very friendly. Many things we have run through. Many times we have run through the museum chasing the daisy. No. The daisy. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> yes, Matt? No, no, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> like, I gather she was saying. <laughs> yes, I am Yvette Delacroix, but I am not one to be talking about myself too much, no. I am not like the great Dr. Carter, who has so many of the great stories to tell. Like, I gather she was saying that her encounter with Crodfather was forgettable. But it's like she was saying she was going to forget about it. I know. But that's I a know. very unique way to have met someone. But, but she's also like English is in her first language. You know, <laughs> we have to forgive her a little bit for that. Like, right? like to. I am not I, obligated to forgive anyone for anything, especially <laughs> the French. <laughs> especially the French. Like, I guess it is kind of scathing for her to say that she would literally forget that it happened at all. Like, I will forget about it and him. Such it, was how unremarkable it was. She remembers now, but she knows she plans to forget it later. She's like, I'll forget that in a few months. Yeah. It's just a weird way to put it. It is weird. She just has a plan to mm -hmm. drink so much absinthe that she forgets everything that ever happened to her previously. It's just scheduled for a few months mm -hmm. from now. From, yeah. Her memories are like a literal file browser on a computer, <laughs> and she just has to clear it out now and then. Monsieur Heimlich, he is an intense fellow, no? Very military, very stiff and straight. I feel very safe around him, but I also feel uncomfortable. He patrols the museum so much, it... It's strange the dagger was stolen from under his nose, no? Do you suspect him of stealing the dagger? Uh, just cut to the chase. Who knows? I am not the policeman, but he seemed very upset about the burglary. Maybe too upset, no? No? No, no, no? Also, he is wearing that shiny new dagger on his belt. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it looks a lot like the one that went missing. But no one will say they are too polite to ask. Ah, this Steve, he is so big and handsome, no? No? Yes? No? No? We? No? No, no. Yeah, She's no. forgetting now. <laughs> no, yeah, no, <laughs> yes. no, yeah. <laughs> the annoying little man. I met him at the speak easy long ago, but he is not my class of person, no. He is of the criminal type. Whoa. No? No? Wow, the man is standing less than three feet from you. All right. He knows what he no. is. For, for a second, I thought she said Beetle Man. The Beetle Man. The Beetle Man. The, the, the Beetle Man. <laughs> the beetle man. <laughs> uh, that's apt. That would explain so much. Ah, uh, the Countess, she's not what she seems, no? 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 What do you mean? We. We? Her last husband, he was afraid of her. He told me. Then, as I learned more, I became afraid of her too. No? Whoa. Why? She seems like a nice old lady that I haven't met yet, but whatever. It is all the act, no? She is a dangerous one. Now I think she is after Dr. Carrington's money, since I am seeing them together so often lately. No? no. I don't understand. <laughs> Why is she so dangerous? No. No? Just be trusting me, Miss Bow. Stay away from the Countess. People die when she's around. Ooh. Oh, dear. That's an allegation. A black widow. Yeah. Oh, dear. Well, we know her Her previous husband, uh, Sterling Wall of Carlton, has died under mysterious circumstances. Mm-hmm. Maybe Indeed. mysterious. I only read the financial section of the newspaper. The stock market, it is looking so good. I am going to buy some very soon. Hmm. What, the newspaper or the stock? The newspaper looks <laughs> the amazing. The newspapers? Mm -hmm. The I entire newspapers? stock market. Mm -hmm. Whoa. Looks good. That's what I think when I see the business section. Stock market looks good, I guess. 
you can't lose. Also, some <laughs> numbers, all right. Mm -hmm. I support the police in every possible way I can. I have never been to the police station, but I know many street cops and detectives, and they are all the gentlemen to me. Oh, that's nice. What was her name in um, Sunny Bones Land? What was um, Hot Lips? What was her name? <laughs> Marie? Sweet Cheeks, Sweet Cheeks Marie. Marie. Sweet Cheeks yeah, Marie. Yeah, I'm reminded. Yeah. 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 Marie yeah. Wilkins Bonds. Or Bonds Wil Wilkins. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Monsieur Lofat, he does seem some of the laundry. I do most of the lacy and delicate things myself, no? No? No. 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 Nah. no. Definitely no. <laughs> what do you know about the docks? The docks? Ah, there are so many of the men down there, and they are so big and so charming. They have been very generous to me. What does that mean? Yeah. What are, what are you receiving at the, at the docks that is generosity? She, she looks like my... a type of innuendo. Yeah. That is truly inscrutable. Yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> the museum, it is a wonderful place to work. The people, they are so friendly, and I am enjoying my work here. I intend to be the president someday. Wow, well, everybody's got big eyes on the president of the museum. Hey, listen, she mm -hmm. looks like my uh, French teacher from grade... Oh, uh, serious? I want to say 11. Amazing. What's her name, it Yvette? Is her. No, her name was uh forget her first name. Ms. She was Madame she was Madame Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Delacroix. Al oh my gosh, it's so close. Mrs. When... Albuquerque. <laughs> yeah. Oh, was she Miss Albuquerque? Yeah. Madame Albuquerque. <laughs> New York, it is a rough place for the newcomer, no. So many play people in one place. It reminds me of Paris, but it is where the all the money is. No, the Americans they have so much more money than the French. Hmm. 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 Mm. No. Speakeasy. No. No. It must be hard to polygraph. Yes. It's a speakeasy. Uh, it used to be the good place of the business for me. No. Then I got this job, so I don't have to do that anymore. What kind of work did you do at the speakeasy? I was going to ask the same <laughs> I was a hostess there for a while. Hostess. With your appearance, you must have gotten a lot of tips. Um, I suppose you could have be calling it that. I got the very big tips. <laughs> Excuse <Yeah>. me. <laughs> 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 Uh. <laughs> it is a nice notebook, Laura. Uh, Takes a good notes, and you'll be the good reporter. Well, she's already bonded the with you. Reporter. Yeah, like yeah. you're the best of friends now. We're yeah. besties. Right after uh, nameless flapper. <laughs> yep. I don't think the flapper wanted friendship. Hmm. Do well, not look at me too closely, Miss Bo. I found the line on my face yesterday, and I'm still upset about it. Whoa. I didn't see any lines the on your face, Yvette. The flapper might have been down for some friends with benefit ship. Yeah, yeah. that's true, but I, yeah. she didn't seem very friendly. She was just interested in our body. Mm. What are you doing with the water glass? Listening at the doors? Ha <laughs> ha, just kidding. That's a That's very good idea. idea. We're going to do that from <laughs> now on. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to water glass every door I find in the game now. 1926. How is it I'm going to get to the Egyptology question last. Mm. Wow. Has this been a good year for you, Miss Delacroix? Ah, yes. Every year is a good year for me, Miss Bo. It is all a matter of the attitude, no? No. Why, well, that <laughs> seems to be a very healthy point of view. Yeah, I like I like her. Uh, Merci, Miss Bo. You are very kind. I like her attitude. You know. Yep. Yeah. She's got a very positive attitude. Very positive. Yeah, some of her innuendo. It's hard to tell if she's being coy <laughs> or just insane. It is terrible to <laughs> think someone could break into this museum and steal something so valuable. Monsieur Heimlich, he is all broken up about it, although he doesn't show it. 
How did Dr. Carrington react to the burglary? Dr. Carrington, he is, is a very dignified man. There is not much you can learn from his face. He seems to have taken the burglary very well, although he was angry with Wolf about the poor security. Do you have any idea who might have stolen the dagger? There are many suspicious people here tonight who could have done it. The Countess, for example. Or the Beetle Man. Zippy. Zippy? But I have not the proof, do you understand? Beetle from the Legend of Zelda series? The Beetle Man. Oh! <laughs> I take him over come Ziggy up any day. Before you started doing that, I mean, we're talking about Ziggy. So. Egyptology. You should ask Doctor Miklos or Doctor Smith about that. I only work here at the museum. Why would I know about Egyptology? What I don't even know what Smith I do at the museum. It's a horrible name. Yeah. Smith. <laughs> Mister Smith. All right. Uh, I'm gonna yeah, save. I was about to say. All the time that we have oh, this please episode, do save. So. Yeah, we don't want to have to do this again. <laughs> again, again. Her innuendo was almost go. too coy to <laughs> be about sex. <laughs> like it's almost like something more strange and abstract had to have happened. Like they were abducted by aliens and she's being <laughs> coy about it. <laughs> Maybe she's kind of got a really like sly sense of humor and this is just all a big joke to her. I'm hoping you like what you are seeing, Miss Bo. You looked Whoa. at her with your magnifying glass. Whoa. Can we touch her? Can we touch her? Will she let us touch her? <laughs> Pardon moi, mademoiselle, but now is not the time nor the place. But perhaps we can play the, how do you call it, Patty cakes at another time. Yeah, girls there is a clown. flapper reclining on a couch <laughs> in the speakeasy bathroom that we need to introduce you to immediately. <laughs> I feel like every woman I've met in this game has been down to clown. I, I'm, with I'm, Laura. I'm, it's good. I like yeah. it. It's the entire video game full of people who are DTF. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like a Leisure Suit Larry game. It's this is yeah. basically a Leisure Suit Except, Larry game. Like, a, a lot more like I guess like what's the word I'm looking for wholesome isn't it <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't know I can't even I'm not I can't even try to help because I have no idea where you're going yeah I mean it's it's not like you know it's not sleazy like leisure suit Larry it's just like a lot of people are are just D -D DTF Oh, mostly just the women, though. All the guys have been, like, pushing me away, so. And here we go. Bye, everyone. Stick and stay. Bye.